Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I am back with artificial intelligence. I have generated lots of images by AI. And I have a question for all of you. Do you think AI has creativity and intelligence? Whenever you generate an image, it is or there is. Are you thinking there's some person inside it that whenever you give it a prompt, it finds out the correct answer? Or it has does some magic, math, and science? What do you think it is? Let's find out in this video. I'll show you some examples of the images that you might have never seen. So here are, are some people and AI working together to do some great science where they're studying about weather, hurricanes, rainbows, earthquakes, anything like that. And I've created some fun images too. Like a fairy with a dairy and a rainbow image. Fox on a box wearing some socks. Donkey and a monkey. And can't forget duck on a truck feeling a bit stuck. That's my favorite one. And here it is. So oh, you, you might have seen this video where this, of the rabbit and the squirrel. So you might have seen these images of, of the petaverse. And here are some girls. There are some generated by Canva and some generated by some other AI tools. Now let's see some video about the true reason why, how, how does it work. But how does this AI work? And does it have true creativity and imagination? Let's dig in. Early projects that taught AI to create art use something called a generative adversarial neural network, which is a way of using two AI models to generate images. The way this works is that one AI, called a generator, is trying to create images that are similar to the ones in the training set. And a different adversarial AI trains to detect if those images are close to the originals or not. Generative AI has learned to generate real-looking imagery. Now, this is great, but computer scientists have come up with something even better called diffusion. Inspired by physics, diffusion involves converting an image to an unrecognizable blur or noise and training an AI to reverse this process. Every step of this gradual transition is an opportunity to train AI to learn to reverse the process. To train an AI, we repeat this with millions and millions of images. We do this enough times, the AI learns to take a text description and generate completely new images nobody has ever seen before. So now we learned that it's just some um, maths and science doing all the trick in the AI. All diffusion, where two chatbots are working together to create the image that we have seen, that we asked it to create. So we learn that it is the human's creativity and knowledge, not the AI's creativity and knowledge. It's trained to do all, the, create all the wonderful images we've seen. So I'll, if you want to watch the whole video, I'll put up the link in the chat and you can watch the whole video and you can watch the whole all the videos in the playlist do learn more about ai i'll be back with and it's chat gpt very soon bye see your bye in the ai